Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at just the basics of Reading Workshop, the basic structure of Reading Workshop. And by the way, Reading Workshop is the best way to teach, in quotation marks, reading. I put that in quotation marks because we don't really teach reading. We create the conditions whereby students can learn to read. Just like we don't teach students how to speak when they are young, we create the conditions whereby they can learn to speak. An important idea. Children learn to read and write the same way they learn to speak and listen, by being immersed in authentic conditions, reading and writing conditions, and by getting authentic responses. The goals here of Reading Workshop is for students to practice reading just like you need to practice speaking, to learn the necessary skills. Yes, we do teach skills explicitly, but we do it in a research-based way. And learn to enjoy reading. Yes, you and I as adults, we read books, hopefully, either to get information or because we enjoy reading. And to help D, children learn to make reading choices and enable them to reading to make reading choices choice is the most powerful motivator in getting children to read when you and i go to the library nobody assigns us a book when i go to amazon.com no one assigns me a book i get to make choices why would we not allow students this same right like a carpenter's workshop Reader's Workshop have projects going on at all different phases. It's not uniform. It's not standardized. Reading Workshop contains some or all of the following elements. There is structure. Students know what they are supposed to do. There are specific routines. Not control, not chaos, but structure. That is the ultimate in education, creating structure, not chaos or control. There are many lessons. Yes, we teach skills explicitly, vowel sounds, letter sounds, word families, etc. But we realize, just as Nancy Atwell has and many others, that reading class should be 70 to 80 percent actually reading and enjoying, and only 20 to 30 percent skills instruction. Sadly, and I cry here, most traditional reading classes have that reversed. They think, well, I'll just teach a bunch of skills and children will learn to read. Yup, 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 that's what I'll do. But that's not how it works, and there's a body of research to support that idea. Many lessons are anywhere from two to ten minutes in duration. They can involve just a few students or the whole class. Now, here is a key to life. Nobody learns a skill once and master it. If I teach a short vowel sound, I cannot assume that students have mastered it, even if I have some kooky objective where students will demonstrate mastery. No, they need to touch it over and over again. The heart of Reading Workshop is independent reading, where children read a book, pick a book, and read silently. Reading log or journal. This is where children respond. And generally, the last five minutes of the day, the teacher might say, okay, get out your reading log and let's record or make a response. Now, this should be an aesthetic response, not story detail. Describe what happened. It's as if you and I were having a conversation. How would you respond? I wouldn't ask you to respond uh uh, to a detail. Here are some examples of aesthetic responses to a journal prompt. Of course, you can stop and read these, but the key is that you might want to put two or three of these prompts on the board before reading workshop starts and tell children to pick one that they would like to respond to. Eventually, students do not need prompts. They learn how to record and respond to interesting and important ideas. A reading conference is a time where you set up to talk individually with students. Students sign up on a calendar or you may have uh, students assigned to a reading conference. Now here's the thing, if you have 
25 students in a class and you do maybe three or four a day, every week and a half to two weeks you will have a very meaningful interaction about students and where they're at. And you should do no more than three or four a day because they're kind of taxing approximately five minutes in length. You have to teach students how to conference, what to say and how to ask questions. And you even might want to have three or five questions that you're going to ask during the conference on a poster. Now, here are example of some pre-conference questions that you might post and the types of things that you ask. And by the way, you don't have to have read the book to have a good conference with students. You might say, oh, Pat, what are you reading? Hmm, interesting. Oh, why did you pick this book? And as a student is talking with you, you're making anecdotal notes in your notebook. Simply a piece of paper. Take that piece of paper. Put that in the student's uh, manila file folder. You're gathering some good, qualitative, authentic assessment. Hmm. Can you describe an interesting character? Oh, interesting. What do you think will happen next? Hmm. Why do you like this book? Hmm. What do you think you'll read next time? Interesting. Okay, that is a reading conference. Number six elements of reading workshop. Choice. And again, students are able to choose the books that they like. And choice also means if a student's not liking a book, it's okay to say, hmm, I don't like this book. I don't think I'll read it. Just like you and I as actual adults, we're able to say, hmm, I don't like this book. I am not going to read it. Number seven, book talks. Nothing kills reading like book reports. Nothing enhances reading like book talks. A book talk is simply where you talk about a book. Anywhere from 15 seconds to 2 minutes. Here's a book talk. Hmm, this is a book I'm reading. I really like it. It's about reading in the brain. All right? And I like it because it talks about how the brain processes text. Bing! Reading talk right there. Students simply talk about a book, why they like it, what it's about. 15 seconds to 2 minutes in duration. And I generally like to have a sign-up where every week or two weeks, students have to do a book talk. And portfolio assessment. The best way to get a sense of how that child is as a reader is not a number or a test score. It is authentic assessment. And I'll talk about authentic assessment in another video. Here's an actual reading workshop. Notice, students are reading and talking. This is good. Reading workshop, again, contains some or all of these elements. It looks different in each different teacher's classroom. It's ludicrous to think that teachers are standardized products and there should be one way to teach reading. Research after research says there is no magic method, one standardized approach that works for all students. If your school district is, is insisting that you teach reading in this specific way, nigh unto them. They are uninformed about reading and the reading process. Here's a teacher doing, uh, this is called language experience approach. This is where students dictate a sentence. This is good for emergent and beginning readers. And I have many activities and video lessons free of charge. The only obligation is that you use them to improve the lives of your students at that website. Reading Workshop, a wonderful idea.